Hello, Mioni here, and I thought I'd share my six things that I've been doing to prepare for 6.5. These are obviously not the only six things you might want to do, and there might be other suggestions that you can leave in the comment section, but these are things I've been doing that I've been focusing on, and you might want to as well, I don't know. So bicolor gemstones, very low on the list, but this is something I've been doing. I've capped my bicolor gemstones. You can, of course, do this through the shared fates, both in Endwalker zones, as well as Shadowbringers. It's the same color Currency. So if you like, you know, a particular zone, like I like the Tempest, you could totally go back to Shadowbringers and farm fates there. Or, or of course, you could go to like Favnir or somewhere like that. That's more common with Endwalker. More people go there. Maybe there'll be a faster completion of the fates um, and you'll cap those a lot quicker. Those gemstones then are uh, obviously not going to reward you with a lot of things. But last time we had a custom deliveries client added to the game, there were actually new items available from the Pixies for bicolor gemstones. And there were in a previous patch new orchestrion rolls and things like that. Sometimes we do get the rare occasion of getting a minion or barding or something like that. So if you're into your collectability, you might want to cap your gemstones. If not, then let's move on. Capping your tombstones through combat stuff. So obviously do your roulettes and things is never a bad idea anyway to keep in the you know the thick of things getting back into the rotation of things maybe you've taken a bit of a break it might be a good time to come back and just you know seat yourself back in you know get comfortable with your jobs maybe you haven't touched them in a while i know some people haven't and that's totally fine uh, but also the tomes will be useful for acquiring um, the various upgrades to weaponry and things like that of course there shouldn't be any new major gear from your tombstones, but it's always worthwhile capping those out. And speaking of that, my third point would be getting coins from the previous two Myths of the Realm Alliance raids. Usually you can upgrade weapons even further, via the use of a raid uh, material. Now, not everybody perhaps will be able to get that raid material, but you could usually exchange um, basically all three different types of coins from all three different parts of an alliance raid for that material and you'll be able to upgrade your weapon it's small especially if you're not like amazingly into raiding or anything but it's a good way of getting those items and enhancing now there's no confirmation yet because we don't have the patch notes of whether or not this will be a, a factor but it's always a good idea to stock up on those previous coins anyway because typically that's what you would do to get that material in the future so when Myths of the Realm Part 3 comes out, if they do decide to add that to the patch, then at least you've got a stack of other coins. And also the Moogle event's still on, so you can get your Moogle Tomes from Aglaia and places like that as well. And the Moogle Tome event ends at 6.5's release on the 3rd of October. Doing PvP then, that's the other thing I would mention. Uh, not only to get all of the rewards from your series PvP, because the series 4 ends at the 3rd of October with the launch of patch 6.5, but also because in 6.5 we've got a whole new series. And with that, there's an idea that obviously we want to get all of the trophy crystals we physically can. This new gear on this image was shown during the letter from a producer live part 79 and if you like this sort of stuff then you're going to need trophy crystals which are obtained from your series PvP rewards on those ranks. Now you can get these infinitely there is like an and once you finish the page you can infinitely get more of those every time you rank up so it's not like there is a set amount that you are limited to so if you're into your pvp definitely a good way to do it and of course through pvp once again you can get your moogle tomes so it's kind of like you kill one bird and you scratch many backs at the same time i don't think that's the analogy but it works so faux hollow leaves, that's another point I wanted to bring up. Uh, if you are into your Unreal Trials, perhaps you find the idea of going into Thordan on Unreal to be not the most palatable of decision with pickup groups, um, like myself, then you might want to do the current Unreal and cap up on your faux hollow leaves. The faux hollow mini minigame, obviously obtaining those leaves through doing the Unreal Trial, you can then exchange those leaves for various items. Typically there are mounts, sometimes there are minions, and sometimes there are other rewards as well. A lot of those items are also available for gil via the market board. You can trade them with other players, but some of the items are not. So if you want to get some of the newer items, but the idea of Thordan Unreal puts you off, then maybe go and do that now. That could be a good idea. But of course, you could just stock up on Gil and buy whatever mount comes out on day one and pay over 50 million Gil <laughs> or something like that. 
but uh, typically those things fall in price pretty quickly. So you've got to value your time versus the amount of gil you spend on these things. And finally, I would say Island Sanctuary. This is a kind of fairly big one, in my opinion. Just go set up a routine. It doesn't matter what it is, even if it's the most meta routine as possible. Just make sure you're not hemorrhaging points. Make sure you've not put on the automatic gardener and automatic livestock um, caretaker, because you're probably losing points every single day unless you're actually putting something up on your workshop. Remember, you can put up workshops for the next two weeks. You can send your granary out out for a maximum of eight i believe eight days so this could definitely be something you want to look at just set something up if you're look, looking for like a meta or the best possible amount of seafarer carries that you could physically get the overseas casual discord is a really great place to go uh, or of course on reddit those uh, same things are posted there very regularly where a lot of these people will go out their way to theory craft the best ways of doing things in fact they have multiple different things one for exp gain one for you know just the best amount of carry some for just go and have a look at it yourself it's really useful but even if you don't want to go down that route and you want to figure it out yourself or whatever just having something being produced will earn you some calories and if you've set up the automatic stuff like i have it's better to not keep hemorrhaging those points and actually gain something each time you go to your workshop even if you go there every two weeks or something it's going to be better for you also make sure that you press the collect all button uh, if you are automatically harvesting things because there is a cap and past that cap the mammoths will do nothing so make sure that you've collected all of your items but yeah, Island Sanctuary is going to have a huge update in 6.5. We don't really know much about it, but typically there is mounts, minions, barding, glamour, you name it. There's a lot of things that comes from Island Sanctuary vendors. And in fact, there's a new quest line called the Felicitous Favors, which uses a different currency. So maybe if you're still leveling up your Island Sanctuary, that might be something to passively do as well. Of course, there is a challenge log associated with it that gives you carries as well for entries. So make sure you go and check out your sanctuary. Don't just leave your animals and crops to die like I did. It would be a good idea to not do that. But anyway, those are the few things that I can think of right now that I you know, personally have been doing to make sure that when 6.5 comes out, I can cover most of that content in videos. But also you might be interested in getting some of those rewards as well. Very minor in the grand scheme of things, nothing too mandatory. But um, if you want the most fun, then you'll probably want to have a look at some of these things yourself. Anyway, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. I thought this video was worth making, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.